Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Steve. A few years back, I actually shut my business down for probably four, no, five or six years because I had foot issues. I've been through a lot of different boots trying to deal with that. And boots have become pretty important to me. So, I've gone through a lot of different boots. Okay, so with that being said, the company High C, I think I'm saying it right. I, I hope so. Um, H I S E A, High C. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it right, but I think that's how you say it. They reached out and they said, Would you be interested in reviewing our boots? So, full disclosure, I said to them, No problem. I don't require any money. I just require the boots and if I like them I'll do a video on them and if I don't like them I won't do a video on them and that's it if I like your product I will pump it but don't try to send me a blender because we don't make smoothies here so when they said are you interested in reviewing the boots I said yeah no problem just do me a favor and send two pairs one for my son who's always on the channel here and you know one from for me okay so before i talk about the high c boots let me talk to you about the last pair of boots that i bought so the last pair of boots that i bought i ordered three pairs of these brunt boots i got um a pair for my son my oldest son and my youngest son and myself i got a pair for myself the boys like their pair um i am not happy because this left one here showed up and the steel toe right there was cutting into my foot. Now I know a lot of guys that are happy with these and I'm sure it's just a defect or whatever. But when I emailed the company, you know, I spent $500 on three pairs of boots. But when I emailed the company, I got no answer back. So I kind of got sour and stopped wearing them. So I don't wear those anymore. I actually don't even think these are mine. I think this pair, I might have thrown my pair out. I think these might be my son Bryson's. I don't even think I have my pair anymore. Because I only wore them like a couple days. And these are pretty beat up. So I think these are Bryson's pair. Now, the ones I've had a long time and I only wear in the winter are these Red Wings. The problem with these is they are so heavy. I wear them in the snow. Um, in the winter and snow and ice if we have bad bad uh, You know storm or something. I've had these for quite a few years because I don't wear them all the time because they are just they're so heavy um, I probably should start wearing them, to, you know to lose some weight I could go jogging or something, but those are winter boots for like You know real bad weather when I don't want to trash my other ones then the ones I've worn a lot and I continue, this is, I don't know how many pairs, but I've continued to keep buying them, uh, is the Irish Setters. These ones here are extremely comfortable. The only problem with these, where I live, they're kind of pricey. And the stitching, I don't know. The last few pairs I have, they get all frayed here and then they start to peel here. But, however, that doesn't mean that these aren't a good boot. It just means that, you know, I'm rough on boots. But it's the pricing. They're kind of they're kind of expensive where I am. They're like $200 boots where, where I live. So that's, you know, some of the pairs of boots and what we're dealing with here. And then what I got from High C is these. Um... There's all kinds of different types of colors and styles and everything. I actually picked these out and I told them, yes, I would be interested if you send me a pair of those. Now, I'm sure that the company has really wanted me to do this video probably like weeks ago. But I don't want to just get a product and then just tell everybody, oh, the product is great. I actually want to try it out and I want to use the product. That way my viewers... Because that's who I'm doing this entertainment for is the viewers. Um, they get an honest review. So my honest review of this is 
I really like these. These are so comfortable, they feel like slippers. Now, I'm a guy with foot problems, so I don't tie my boots, but they bend very well. They're lightweight. They're not clunky. The bottoms are nice and flat, so they don't track a lot of dirt. There's a little bit of grip on them, but not enough to track a ton of dirt in my truck. Or, like, if I stand on hot mix, like asphalt paving, you know, uh, I don't get a lot of that stuck in them. I don't, like, you know, like, if you were to stand and mix with this... You know, for you paving guys, I mean, you know, I mean, we don't do a lot of paving, but we sometimes do patchwork and stuff. And, you know, if you stand in it with that, you're pulling up mix and it's getting stuck in there and everywhere. So, I like these. The other thing, too, is I'll take them off real quick. I just slip them off. They have these pads in here that are like, I don't know what they're made out of. But right there, that is my favorite feature, is that piece there and that piece there. Goes right in the arch, and it just, I don't know. I've had these probably for like a month now, I've been wearing them. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how comfortable they are. How well will they ha handle and hold up? Well, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty rough on boots. These probably have about, I don't know four or five backfills on them a um, couple septic jobs now um, I kick a lot of stuff so the toe is gonna get all beat up um, I did some painting uh, I did I you know spilt paint all over them you know a um, few hydro seed jobs and then uh, the little oops happened I was using the cutting torch and I dropped a hot ball of uh, melting metal on the lace it burned through the shoelace which is expected but I was pretty surprised because it didn't burn through the actual leather you know that's that's pretty good so I mean uh, I'll probably just get another shoelace or I probably won't I don't care and they're not as much money as those Irish setters so that's why I'm pretty happy with these they're really comfortable so that's how I feel about those. Let's go take a look at what Bryson got. All right, buddy. Everybody wants to see your going out boots. Yeah, Show me your going out boots. These are my nice boots. Put them up on the stump. They're a little dirty because I'm actually wearing them outside for once. And I'm, I've been gardening, but uh, yeah. They're very nice. I've never had black boots. So when I got them, I was planning on destroying them like yours. But then I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to. So, yeah, so you've just been keeping them, preserving them by going out? Yeah. yeah. They do look fancy, I, I will say that. Yeah, no, they're very, they're so comfortable. They're so like slippers, slippers, right? Well, no, they feel like slippers, and they slip on like slippers. Um, I like thick laces. Every, all the pairs of Timberlands I've ever had, they all have thin laces. I don't like the thin laces. These have nice thick laces, so I can tie them really fast. I've kept them in pretty decent condition so far. Are you a steel toe? No, these are soft toe, so like squishes all the way. Oh, down. okay. Yeah, yes. these are soft toe. But um, yours were tumbled leather, which is like that that textured material. This is just patent, so it's it's like that smooth, you know. Yeah, that but, is uh, nice. They're super comfortable. These are size ten and a half. They came, and I was like, I don't want to, I want to ruin them. They're so pretty. I don't want to use them. I remember in high school, I had a pair of cheap boots, um, and you know. Cheap's like a relative term to me in my eyes. Seventy dollars is like a good budget round for a boot, you know. Um, but you know, cheap to you might be thirty, forty bucks, or cheap to you might be a hundred, twenty bucks. But usually, when we're buying work boots, they're fairly expensive, like several hundred dollars a pair. Um, but for these, the stitching was a big thing I wanted to touch on. Don't use mine as an example. Look, yours. None of the stitching has come out. I bought a pair of boots, I forget the brand, but they were 120 bucks. I bought them in high school, and after a couple months of just wearing them, not even working in them, just wearing them, right? Not even every day, the stitching was popping out, like all right here, all right here on the boot. The stitching was coming out, it was fraying everything. With how you destroy boots, how the stitching has held up here is amazing to me. Yeah, because I, I go, thought, I go I, through boots, like, what, every couple months? Every couple months, you're buying Yeah, boots. I'm trashing boots. I mean, so, yeah, I would say I, that... that, was, that I, when we first got them, that's what I said to you. I said, that stitching's going to come out in a couple weeks. I said, you are going to 
you're gonna ruin. I said the whole front of your boot stitching is gonna be done in a couple weeks. That's what I said to you. And look at it now. It's been a couple. What? It's been what, like two months or something. Um. Yeah. Something like Somewhere. that. I don't remember. All I know is I've done quite a bit of work in these, and I I'm always kicking stuff. And this is what I was telling the people yeah. here. Um. Also, just fun fact, random fun fact. This is the only stump in my yard because it's actually full of dirt and she likes to plant flowers in it. All right guys, so that's gonna do it on the high C boots. Um, we don't do a lot of reviews, but we actually like these boots. No, for, for 70 bucks, they're killer. They yeah. really are. And so, we, wouldn't have made it, we wouldn't have made the video. Uh, we're never gonna make a video those. on something that we haven't used or disliked. Used or we won't make a video on something that we dislike. If it's something, yeah you know that we dislike we just you know we'll discard it or throw it out or whatever yeah. and if there was issues with these boots we would we would say it we would disclose it just like i was telling you about the issues i had with the brunt boot you know i never got an answer back from them so i mean you know for whatever reason doesn't make it a bad boot it just means yeah. no, i like them you know i'm gonna try a different boot and we yeah. tried these boots and we like them so we want to pass on the knowledge to our viewers because um, we're here to help out our viewers. So if that helps you out with um, you spending a lot of money on boots, hey, go over to their website. He'll put a link in the description. Yeah, so I'll have that down there. I'll have a link to their website, and I'll have a link to these boots that we got. Um, thanks to Roger at High C for sending us these boots, reaching out to us, seeing if we wanted to check them out because um, they've been great. I like them a lot. And when you go to their website, check out all the other stuff. So I think I'm going to go on their website. I was, I was actually pointing out one to him. The yep. all black sneaker boot because it's steel toed and it's OSHA approved. Yep. So and I think like sixty bucks, sixty five bucks. Something yeah. Like that. So I think that's gonna be my next try on those. But uh, yeah, we just wanted to tell you guys about you know uh, these boots and um, you know help out our viewers with them um, because everything's expensive nowadays. Yeah, I just went and got brake pads for my truck, two front brake pads for my truck. Okay. Just the front. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I'm mad no, about it's bad. this. I know. I Hundred and ten dollars. So. Guys, any way we can help, you know, people like us save a buck and get a good product, that's what we're here for. Yep. Uh, that and entertainment. So stick around because we're going to entertain you on something else someday. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. I'm talking too much. Goodbye. Goodbye.